ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಧಿ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯೋ ಹೃದಯ ಸರ್ವದ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಶಾಲಿನಿ ವಿಠಲ್ ಕೋ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ನೂಪ್ರಭ್ರಮರಿ ಐ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ರಂಗ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಂಗೀತ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಹೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಯಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒಡಿಸ್ಸಾ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಬೈ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಮಿಶ್ರ who was a teacher at the court of king gajapati narayana deva of parla kimidi gajapati was the traditional title of rulers belonging to more than one royal dynasty of orissa the author purushottam mishra comes from a family of accomplished scholars where a commentary on his work anargha raghava refers to his father ananda mishra while his another commentary on his work on hamsa duta refers to his brother shridhar mishra the author's poetic compositions are mentioned in natya manorama text also the author describes sangeeta defining it as a art comprising of singing instrumental music and dancing under the patronage of king gajapati narayana deva and hence the name sangeeta narayana the intention of the text is to provide a practical guideline to the theoretical prescriptions laid down by purushottam mishra he being the main author wrote the first two chapters while the king gajapati narayana deva himself an accomplished and learned musician and purushottam mishra's student added the next two chapters also contributing short pieces and annotations to the previous chapters it can be understood that the king composed this as an addition to the work of purushottam mishra where he acknowledges it as the fruit of instruction he received from the scholar the king repeatedly acknowledges his indebtedness to his teacher purushottam mishra in describing the dance compositions the author and his patron together records both western and eastern traditions that is those practiced in gujarat as well as in orissa sangeeta narayana text acknowledges a number of earlier sources through quotations where the definitions of musicological and dance related terms are given clarity a number of verses are quoted from kohala narada ಶಾರ್ಗದೇವ ಮಮ್ಮಟಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಸ ಸನಾಸೇನ ಹರಿನಾಯಕ ಶುಭಂಕರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿಡೀವಲ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ದ ಸಂಗೀತ ರತ್ನಾಕರ ಆಫ್ ಶಾರ್ಗದೇವ ವಿತ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಥರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾರ್ಗದೇವ ಎಕ್ಸರ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಥರ್ಸ್ who wrote on music and dance purushottam mishra also borrows from 15th century text sangeeta damodara by shubhankara in his description of tradition the author closely follows natya shastra and refers to bharata many times purushottam mishra's contribution in recording regional variations remains original and of great value in understanding the history of the classical performing arts of india especially pertaining to odissi the text consists of four chapters geeta nirnaya which is on music vadya nirnaya which is on instruments natya nirnaya which is on dance and drama and shuddha prabandho dharana which provides examples of musical compositions each of the four chapters in the text ends with a statement attributing the work to king gajapati narayana deva who is complete with his titles and created his own dynastic identity the first chapter begins with a mangala charana and provides a genealogy of the patron king's family followed by the description of the nature of geeta and its elements then 
द डिस्क्रिप्शंस ऑफ रागास ध्यान श्लोकास तालास फॉलो द सेकेंड चैप्टर इज डिवोटेड टू म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स प्रोवाइडिंग डिटेल्स ऑफ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इंक्लूडिंग द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ हाउ दे आर टू बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड टू प्रोड्यूस द बेस्ट साउंड द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑन नाट्य निर्णय discusses the origin of natya veda that is the branch of dramatic arts that includes dance various types of minor dramas and dances musical plays and dance dramas from different regions the text prescribes definitions talks about various types of dances and describes short compositions dance halls the qualities and faults of a dancer different abhinayas costume makeup and stage accessories are described by this time dance was no longer merely a part of the purva ranga or the prelude of a play but it was performed as a distinct branch of a composite art form known as sangeeta the characteristics of performers the ideal time for presentations the desirable characteristics of a spectator are provided angika abhinaya which is the communication through the body parts and the limbs is described in detail including the various divisions of body movements postures dance units and short compositions such as charis sthanas bhramaris and so on the text describes the dance vocabulary in a different order the next chapter gives examples of eastern musical compositions describing shuddha and salaga varieties although the work comes from odisha where the geeta govinda already enjoyed the status of the paramount cultural model the examples in this chapter contain only a couple of compositions from the geeta govinda in addition a number of compositions based on rama tales have been added the author provides notations of a number of sanskrita as well as oriya songs mentioning ragas and talas of each song for example a song composed by king gajapati narayana deva is thus sita stana ghana kumkum panka lalita vakshase lanka sura shanka tura sura hita hata rakshase which means to him whose chest is adorned by the saffron unguent from sita's firm breast to him who defends the immortals against harm afflicted with fear of the demon of lanka namo namo dinakara suta mithuni krita hetave rosha dahana shosha vikala jaladi baddha setave hari nrupa mani hridaya dharani darana sharaketave which means all praise to him who made the ashwins appear who built a bridge over the ocean which was dried by the fire of his anger whose banner is marked by the arrow which is capable of destroying the heart of narayana and the whole earth from this example it has been possible to understand how well an author who was a teacher and the patron who also was an author and a student complemented each other in those times and also how well the lakshana granthas or the treatises consisted of the songs that could be practically sung and danced thereby following the rules of the shastra thus bridging the gap between theory and practicals we have come towards the end of this episode dealing with the sanskrita text sangeeta narayana may lord narayana bless each one of us in understanding appreciating and enjoying the world of geeta vadya and nartana please do listen to all our episodes on different shastra granthas some of them are in english and some in kannada if you are interested to further your knowledge about these shastras do register in our shastra ranga short term certificate course also do not forget to read the research based publications of nupur bhramari keep watching like and subscribe to our channel and s yes, do not forget to comment in the text box i shall get back with another beautiful sanskrita work in the next coming episode till then take care namaste